Hi, let's see lecture number 8 of the ultimate TOC course. Before I start, don't write the notes. The entire lecture notes will be given in the description and slides will also be given if I, if I use any slides. Okay. And next thing is, I will be very, very slow while explaining. So please watch the videos at 2x speed. Otherwise, you will be wasting your time. Fine. Now, what is this lecture about? So basically, I want to tell you. <coughs> I want to tell you about this for a regular language there can be many regular expressions there can be many regular expressions right Therefore, now the question is whenever you come up with a regular expression, your question is whether it is right or whether it is wrong. It is a very difficult question to answer. You know, it is a very difficult question to answer whether the regular language generates a particular language. Okay, so you should use intuition. One is you should use intuition. Second is you can, you can use properties. I will show you what are the properties. You can use properties. You can use trial and error trial and error okay so what is intuition so the definition of intuition is that is something that you should get by practice right no one can teach you intuition so i'm not going to teach you that it is up to you okay some people will directly recognize your language by looking at the uh, regular expression some people will take some time okay so coming to properties, you will understand the properties and you can apply properties and for 99% of the questions you can solve using properties. And trial and error, I have already shown you how to use trial and error, I have already shown you, right? So today we will see, I will take one example and I will tell you how to find out whether a regular language, a regular expression is correct for a regular language or not. Okay. Let us say the language is, the language is set of all strings containing, set of all strings containing even number of A's. So the symbols are A comma B and the language is even number of A's. Right. Even number of A's. Now, if you write, we have already seen that regular expression is B star because zero number of A's is also even number of A's plus B star A, B star A, B star whole star. We have already seen this, right? So now when I was explaining in the class this problem and when I, when I, when I was, I mean, when I took offline classes, when I was explain, explaining this in the classroom, many students have given me many uh, 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 answers, right? So now, how how to check how to check whether their answer is right or wrong is the question, right? That comes with intuition, but that takes a lot of time and practice. Sometimes I can give you a method, right? So I, I already already in the last class I told you. You generate few strings which are in the language and just check if they are generated by the prior, uh, by, by your regular expression and also generate some few strings which are not in the language and see if the language, if the regular expression is generating them. All right. Okay. I will take the example one by one and I'll explain you. I'll better take an example and I'll explain you. So some student has given me, sir, why not B star followed by A b star a followed by b star why is it not the answer if you want even number of ones right so why it is not the answer is why it is not the answer is because because you can generate a a the minimum string See the minimum string that can be generated. Okay, this is very pro important property. Remember this. Always try to see whether the language is generating epsilon or not. And if the regular expression is not generating epsilon, but it is in the language, you can rule out that regular expression, right? For example, for example, if I say if there is a language, language which has epsilon in it, a in it, 
and then the AA in it and then something. I don't want to write all of them. If, if, if I say epsilon, epsilon in it, A in it, something like this. And if the regular expression is A, B star, you can directly rule it out. The language is saying that it has epsilon, but the minimum string generated by the regular expression is A. Therefore, we can directly eliminate this regular expression saying that it is not generating epsilon, right? Now here also, here also if you see this, in our language epsilon is there, isn't it? Even number of A's means epsilon is also containing even number of A's. Therefore, this has to, this, this is not generating epsilon, so you can rule it out. And like that, students have given me some more questions. I am solving all of them here. So B star, A, A, B star, whole star. Right. So, what is the problem with this regular expression? What is the problem with this regular expression? You have to use intuition. Okay. Now, intuitively, you can see that you can see that see epsilon is definitely generated because here, if I put a zero in this place of the star, if I put a zero, epsilon is definitely generated. Right. But then, always a and a are together there is no nothing between them which means i cannot generate a b a you try it out whatever you do you cannot generate a b a right which means i have found out a string which cannot be generated which is in the language which cannot be generated by this regular expression and that is why i'm saying that this is not this this is not the regular expression for the language this is not the regular expression right for the language right and then they have given something like this b star plus b star a b star a star okay okay so very good b star means zero number of a's are all generated fine now here also you are seeing all the number of all the even number of a's getting generated but if you use your intuition and check it whatever number you put here let us say you put one then it is going to be a b star a and in this also you can put one then it is going to be a b a right now let us say you put two here in place of the star in place of the star you put a two here in place of the star you put a two right in place of the star you put a 2 then what do we get here i'm talking about this one a b star a a b star a if i put a 2 this is repeated two times a b star a a b star a right right now again you can you can put anything in the in the b star right so you can put a zero leave it leave it right whatever you are doing whenever you are whatever strings you are getting other than this, leave, leave it out. This is generating uh, zero number of A's, but this is generating all the strings which are containing even number of A's, but all of them are ending with A. Okay, check this. All of them are ending with A. Why? Because it is A here. Because it is A, right? That is how you check. It is. It comes with intuition, right? If you are not able to get this method, then what is the other method? You take some example strings which are there in the language and you see if they are generated. Take some strings which are not in the language and see if they are generated, right? Now, I will give you one more option that is given by the students. So, all these questions are asked by students in my classroom, right? So, B star plus B star A b star a whole star b star it is exactly same as previous one right in the previous one b star was not there that is why strings were all ending with a now it will generate so see zero number of a's are here zero number of a's are generated by it and all the even number of a's are generated by this and they can either start with the end with a or they can end with a b or they can start with a b e b or start with a so starting with a is there ending with a is there starting with b is there ending with b is there therefore this is definitely 
this is definitely the regular expression one of the regular expressions for this regular language one of the regular expression for this regular language right and one more thing that students have given me is a b star a power 2 so power 2 is not a regular expression you have to write two times you should not write power 2 okay but still i just okay so what what is this this is a b star a a b star a a b star a a b star a this is not generating all these strings right it is generating strings containing only four a's that two in in some pattern okay after a first a there can be any number of b's and between second and third a there should be no b's and then there can be any number of b's and then yes so, but anyway this is not the regular language regular expression for the language for set of all strings containing even number of a's even number of a's right what else so they have given this b star a star b star a star b star whole star right what is the problem <laughs> this is in fact a star a plus b whole star so later when we see the properties i will show you that this is in fact a plus b whole star a plus b whole star what is a plus b whole star universal language this will generate every string that you want it will generate odd number of a's also okay if you want a single a it will generate how it will put one here zero here zero here zero here one here zero here you will get a which means even odd number of strings are generated in fact it will generate anything right everything while showing the properties i'll show you that okay we will see that let us say b star plus b star a b star a star whole star b star okay so what is this language now again you can just look at the language and you can see that some of these strings which are not in the language are accepted what is that language what is that string so you can clearly see that a is generated only a can be generated right so i will put a zero here i will put a zero here i'll put a zero here i'll put a zero here i'll put a i'll put a one here i'll put a zero here then i get a single a i get a single a right Now one more example is this one b star a b star a b star whole star b star a b star a b star whole star now what is the problem with it does it generate this language does it generate the language containing even number of a's is the question yes it can generate right because any number of a's two number of a's are generated four are generated eight are generated and in between them any number of b's can be there so that is fine all fine but one thing if you observe but one thing if you observe epsilon is generated for sure when i put a zero here epsilon is generated but after epsilon the smallest string is a a the smallest string is a a if you observe it it cannot generate b even though we have b star here b star here b star here it will never be able to generate b alone because a will always come these two a's will always come when i put one here when i put one here when i put one here okay now you cannot get rid of a's therefore a single b or a bb are definitely not present okay so that is all i think i have explained you enough questions to understand how to understand whether a 
regular languages are uh, generated whether a regular expression is generating the current la correct language or not representing the correct language or not okay fine so we will see more questions in the next class if you want to take my gate classes we go to the website ravindrababuravla.in and you are going to see all my gate classes available there okay so coming to the classes they are all recorded why am i doing recorded why am i not doing live classes is i have thousands of students registering for my courses every year but then if i conduct a live class only 20 or 30 people will be there 20 or 30 that's it maximum is 40 i had the reason is live classes are little bit wasting your time See, you cannot watch a live class at 2x speed. You have to watch at the pace at which I teach. Generally, I will be very, very slow while teaching. So if you can go through the live classes, you can watch them at 2x speed and you can complete the syllabus very fast. 400 plus hours content is there for gate. And if you are going to watch them at normal pace, it will take 400 hours. But if you watch it at 2x speed, it will take just 200 hours right so if you want any of my gate classes gate computer science or gate da the price is just 10000 rupees it is very very reasonable for the kind of quality we provide we have test series we have doubt sessions we have videos we have lecture notes for everything even you don't have to write any lecture notes i will provide you lecture notes for every subject you just have to sit back watch the videos at 2x speed and revise the notes short notes will be provided long notes will be provided formulas will be written in a separate notes everything will be there provided to you you don't have to work hard and coming to if you are planning to go abroad we also have study abroad program you can go through my number my number is on whatsapp my whatsapp number is in the website if you are planning to do masters abroad that is a very good choice it is better than doing masters in india so if you are planning to go abroad we will help you out right from the from taking the passport to getting the visa visa us visa right so we will help you out in the entire process okay so do visit the website, see what is happening there. Even DSA course is there for 5,000 rupees, which is both in Python and C++.